Hello everybody. In this short screencast, we're going to look at how to inspect the file that was created by the SQLite system, right, in, in Android. So let's say we look at our just main activity. Let me just go in and bump up that version number to, let's say, 9. So now when you look at the main activity, it's going to create these three. I'm going to delete these. I don't need this here. It's going to create three columns, uh, three uh, entries, subject 1, subject 2, and subject 3. And uh, basically, we're going to retrieve them. So let's run this. Okay. Here it is. We did run it. So it should have deleted the database and just created these three. Right. Okay. Good. So now, if we look at uh, tools or window, and you want to look for the tools manager. So active window, tools. We're looking for um, the. Uh, Let's see, view. Oh, sorry, it's under view, the tool window, and what we're looking for as the device file explorer, right? Click here, and this is the device file explorer. Now, if you go under the device file explorer, there is a folder called data. So this will only work if you're using the emulator. It will not work if you are using the device, unless the device is rooted. But anyhow, so this is the emulator, here it is, and then there is a folder called data, and then there's another folder under it called data, and then my package name is com.example.sqlite. So if I scroll down, dun, 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 like this, and you could see that com.example, where is example? com.example.sqlite demo, and here it is, and then there is another folder called databases, you click on it, and then here is the database file name. The database file name will match the file name you have in the opener. So if you look at the database opener, helper that's what we call the database see notes.db and that's why it's called like this anyhow you can right click and you can save as i'll save it under my desktop or uh, let's say under downloads i save it and here we go it's saved under now this now if you download the database explorer if you double click now on the file it will open here is the database explorer it shows me the file right it shows me that i have the notes table and it has these parameters see it has an integer ID and it's the primary key and then it has the text and text here and so on so now I can also even browse data I click here on notes and it shows me the data here is the data see ID subject text one text two these are the ones that I created here see these are the ones that I created in the main activity here so that gives you an idea of how you could uh, use this tool to actually actually can write queries and so on it's pretty interesting but uh, you can even execute SQL if you want just over the database and so on so then you can browse the data and so on so that this gives you an idea of how you could uh, manage and uh, look at or inspect the database from the system all right so please let me know if you have any questions thank you